greetings and salutations, everybody. All right, so check this out. I have a melee build. It's a melee stealth build, okay? It's pretty effective in PvP. Uh, most melee builds are, but let's see. I'm gonna come up with this disease grafting monster and just take him out two shots, just like that. Boom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, so what we have right here is we're gonna go down to this Charleston landfill. We're gonna take it over. Yeah, that's right. And then I'm gonna show you exactly what all my perks are all about. Um, not gonna lie, I've been rocking this this entire time. Um, it started getting really good around level 40. Uh, but you can't really max it out until after level 50 because there's some some higher level perks that you actually need Now a lot of people don't like the whole stealth aspect of things um, And let's see I, I I'm, I'm checking to see if I can actually talk No, it's turned off. That's good Ooh. All right so we're coming up on this little area right here. I don't know. It, I think this dude just left. He was here a second ago. But he's not here anymore. So. We're, we're, we're going to do our best to just run up there. Now if you are in stealth. You don't actually show up on the map for anyone. Uh, looks like he's been doing some work here. Alright, this is how you initiate PvP. Like, you can just go ahead and up and start killing so much. Alright, 47 caps right here. I like his name. His name is interesting. Let's see, I'm gonna get... Right here. Now, we can't see him when he does come, but if he does come, it's going to be like probably, it's probably going to be in power armor. He's like level 88 or something. I wonder if he's going to be here. Oh, PvP, man. PvP. Oh, PvP. Player versus player. And it doesn't look like he's coming. He might have saw me and ran. All right, one step closer. It's all about hiding out. Yeah, it does not look like he's coming. Normally people will come and uh, try to keep you from claiming it. But it seems that it's not the case this time. Oh, wait, he's coming. He's right there. All right, let's watch the, the claim counter. He's here. One shot in the power armor. Oh, wow. Uh, I'll just take this, this, and this. <laughs> yeah, it's it's OP. It's really OP. I knew that I knew that was coming. Yeah, it's OP cuz like that's that's some pretty decent power armor right there. And a, as you can tell, we are not in any kind of power armor at all. That's kind of what I like about this build. I call it the Stealth Ninja. Oh yeah, melee one-handers, cause uh, super fast swinging speed, it comes in handy. And it looks like we have capped out the Charleston landfill. He might be a little bit upset. I'm not even in chat. All right, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and put this right. Here. That's a fast travel marker, so if he tries to take this thing back, we'll like, and we die, we can just go straight here. So let's go ahead and move off to the side just a little bit, maybe to a, a little happy spot. 
and I'll go ahead and show you the perk trees and talents and all that goody stuff. Now, we also have mutations, so you're going to need to take a look at some of that stuff. All right, here we go. Perks. All right, as you can see, we went ahead and got like a whole bunch of the expert gladiator, gladiator incisor. You need that. Definitely need that for the, you know, and a martial artist. I got 14. I like to do a lot of stuff at night. Well, it's only fire perception, so I choose these. So it kind of gives you a little bit more of a nighttime edge with the night eyes and the night person. I'm still working on getting a full five on ironclad because I've spent a lot of time not in power armor as, as well as barbarians. And as you can see, we've got 14 base strength. 5 Perception, 7 Endurance, 6 Charisma. Now here in Charisma, you're going to want both of these, the Suppressor and the Tenderizer. That's actually really good. Uh, make your target receive 7% more damage for 10 seconds. Oh, looks like we are under attack. He has taken this. And uh, I don't think he can see us, but he does have Marsupial. All right, there we go. <laughs> I guess we gotta stay right here. <laughs> well, <laughs> just a, a little dabba do ya, a little dabba do ya, yabba dabba do ya, <laughs> and that's uh some good caps right there. And uh, let's see, we got makeshift warrior because melee, right? Now here we go with the agility. You need ninja. Sneak attacks do extra damage. Evase. Uh, I, I do that because no power armor, you know? And it does stack with barbarian. Uh, Mr. Sa Sandman, I'm actually trying to work on uh, uh, going covert operative. You, so you can definitely do that too. But, I mean, why would you do it with all that strength? But, you know, ranged attacks, right? And uh, escape artist. This is this will allow you to run up against uh, uh, PVE enemies, and you're able to do like sneak attacks, like one right after the other. Sometimes it's kind of interesting. And of course, class freak and starts gene. So five luck at minimum. So if, there you go, all that right there. And uh, yeah, that's just what I got rolling. And under mutations, we're going to go with bird bones, marsupial, scaly skin. And, well, I got unstoppable isotope. It doesn't really do too much, but it, it's kind of fun. But marsupial is a must. Bird bones is probably going to be really good, too, because it gives you extra agility, which is very cool. And, uh, yeah. Melee stealth build. It, it, it does surprisingly really well. <laughs> I don't know. This guy must be a little bit angry. A little bit mad at me. Oh, poor guy. I just took, took it all. Took it all from him. I'm just going to try to scrap all this stuff and throw it in the box. Uh, but PvP has actually been quite exciting. Uh, workshops. It's if you own a, if you claim a workshop, expect some PvP, honestly. And uh, there he is, right there. Oh, we might be able to get him again. He might get us. Nope, not this time. <laughs> oh, that's just too much funny. That's just great. I'm so sorry, man. I, like, I'm just going to be real, but... I, I'm not a big fan of power armor. I'm just not. I don't like people that wear it. I mean... It's just, it's just too much. Like... It's so loud and noisy. Just 
would rather go around stealthing and be sneaky and not in so much power armor. Oh. Looks like we got mutants. Let's go ahead and let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about with the, the whole PE aspect of things because this is just how it is. Right up to him. Sneak attack damage. This guy is right on top of us. Sneak attack damage. Vats mode is amazing as well because then you can like jump right straight towards them if they're within range. Boom, just like that. Free bottle caps galore. Oh, another one. And uh, I don't know. He, he he might really want this. Another one, another one, and another one. Hmm. Oh, hi. <laughs> of course, the, the PvE mobs don't get to see you that much. Oh, things are broken. Everything's broken. Now, I don't know whether or not it's the actual perk setup and stuff like that that's allowing me to do all this. I'm pretty sure the fact that, you know, no power armor and I'm just doing what I'm doing right now. Uh, maybe some of the damage might get nerfed in the future, but I wouldn't count on it completely 100% being nerfed in the future. Uh, mostly because, I mean, we did go all in with the one-hander damage and stuff like that, so it's kind of going to be debatable on all aspects of things. But it's really fun build to play. Definitely, definitely some PvP worthy stuff. Um, and just just a quick reminder, you know, uh, the PvP in this game is not that broken. Um, but the anti-griefing measures, they can be a little bit of a pain. But that's why I like capturing workshops because then they're automatically going to be flagged for PvP. And you can actually get the first hit on them. So, but you have to do it within the little bubble circle or, you know, activate it, get a little bit of claim, run out, go get them. So most people will run to it. Most people will give it a couple of goes, be trying to go at you, trying to get their caps back, trying to get their thing. But the smart ones, they'll give up. Uh, the not so smart ones, they'll keep coming and they'll keep giving you caps like crazy. Guys, I hope you found this video somewhat informative, somewhat fun. Um, again, um, that's what we're looking at right there. All, all, all that good stuff. Supp suppressor, tenderizer, ninjas, all that, all that good stuff. Class freak. And that's just the base right there. Of course, as you go up in levels, you'll be able to, you know, add more to what you want. You can always get some home defense later on but you can definitely do this build going with ninja and all that other stuff and you can build it up you can be a pvp or like around level 42 if you just focus on the combat right here and then once you're past level 50 get all the the actual stats and stuff like that squared away then you know you'll be even better but you know, it, it, you can definitely go down the right path and start actually taking down people in power armor around level 40, like, like really well, maybe even sooner than that. It just depends. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe for more all kinds of content, really. Like, yeah. Until next time. Peace out. Bye.